Hey everybody, Taylor Brown here with Stringberry. In this episode, we're going to recreate one of my Instagram renders at string underscore fairy. And the one we'll be making is this smiley face down here. Now this is uh, inspired by, I don't know how to pronounce this, Obst Obstics. Makes a lot of interesting uh, animation loops, like this one right here. So yeah, check his workout, and um, now we can get into it. Okay, let's delete all the objects here. A, X, delete, add an icosphere. Press control two to subdivide it, and then smooth shade it. Let's use cycles for the render engine. Render this out. And let's add a light, area light. Move it up, give it the power of the sun, 2000. Okay, and let's give this a new material, new, this is a yellow plastic. Let's move straight this. Give it some more uh, subdivisions here. That's better. And add a constraint, damp track, and set the target to the icosphere right here. Use the negative z-axis. Now we can copy the light, and it's always pinned to the object here. Okay. Let's use the GPU here. Now it renders way faster. Okay. Let's add a background here. Shift A, mesh. Move it down, G and Z, scale it up. Grab the back edge here, extrude, click G to drag, and move it on the Z axis to Z, and move it up with the mouse. Scale it up on the Y axis, S, Y. Then add a camera here. Shift A, camera, press Control Alt, numpad zero, to move the camera to the current viewport view. And let's use the resolution of 1920 by 1920. Move the camera in, G and middle mouse wheel. We can also uh, get a different view by locking the camera to view and just move this around. Let's scale this up on the Y axis, S, Y. And then to give this a rounded back, we can add a bevel to it. Increase the segments here and smooth shade it. Okay. Now let's uh, add those uh, eyes. Let's add a mesh circle. Change the number of vertices to something like 16. Let's hop into edit mode and then we will scale this up on the y axis. S, Y. Create a face, shoot it down, E, click, G, and Z, and give this a bevel. We don't want the edges right here to be beveled, so let's choose angle, and then let's subdivide this, control two. Change the angle a little bit more, that way this isn't uh, given a bevel. Then smooth shade it. Scale it down, and let's just rotate it up, or X90, rotate it. Just make sure that it's on the surface of the smiley face here. Copy the eye. This until we like the position. Scale down the z-axis, SC. Something like that's good. Now let's add the smiley face. Let's add a curve. Curve, bezier curve. 
and then just rotate it or x90 rotate it and then turn on the depth here and then just curve it around the mesh <laughs> okay, a little smaller for the smile. Okay. Just until we finagle it in place. That's good. I like that a lot. That's cute. Okay. Now let's convert this to a mesh here. Convert to mesh. And then we will add a face right here. Face and face right here just to cap it off. And now let's subdivide it. We get some weird stretching right here. So let's just change this end gone. Let's add a inset to this end gone right here. And now it's only pulling the face loop right here. Let's do the same right here. Create an inset like so. Now let's give these a new material, just a dark brown. Give this the same materials. Control L, make links with the materials. Let's do it dark. Make sure that the uh, eye is getting all the tension of the light. Now let's increase the contrast here. Use the curves, increase the contrast. That's good. Lower the roughness on the uh, optics here. And then let's open up the shader editor for the yellow here. Turn on the node ring with add on. And this add on will allow us to view each node individually. So for instance, if we add a noise texture, we can view the node by pressing Control, Shift, and left click. Let's plug this into a bump in the height, lower the scale to something like one, press Control T to add a texture setup, and use the object coordinate. That way it distributes evenly. Let's do 0.5 for the scale. And we plug this into the no more here. We just get some, uh, get more variation in the surface here with this bump. And press the control, shift, left click to view this node right here. Let's lower the strength here. And then let's grab a new noise texture right here. Set this scale out something like uh, 40. Then plug this into a second bump in the height, really low, lower the strength somewhere around there. Then plug this guy into the normal over here. And this will add the bumps together. Look at that nice scattering effect for the light. Move the camera in, G middle mouse wheel. And then let's render this out with 100 samples. Let's change the performance tile size to 256. This will perform better on the GPU. And then let's turn off the caustics here. Let's change the number of balances to six. We don't need that many for the scene. It's very simple. And then let's open up the view layer tab use the normal data as well as direct diffuse. This is for the denoising process. Okay, now let's render it out with F12. Okay, so now we can hop into the compositor here. Compositor, 
use nodes turn on the backdrop here and then press control shift left click to view this node now to get rid of these fireflies we can add a denoise right here plug the image into the image and the image into the viewer now they are gone like magic let's plug the normal into the normal over here and then plug the direct diffuse into the albedo now let's add a few nodes here like the lens distortion node change the dispersion to something like 0.02 then add a glare node and mix this with the original image right here Okay, and that is how you make a smiley face in Blender.